Hey, 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 my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Okay, so today we're doing the wonderful daily vibration for November 27, 2019. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving, guys. Can you believe that? Like the year is pretty much over. I can't believe that. We're at Thanksgiving. Before you know it, we're at Christmas. Before you know it, we're at New Year, New Year, New Year, New Year, New Energy, New Energy, New Timeline. Yes, loving it. Okay. So today is a daily vibration for November 27, 2019, and we're vibrating at the number five today. Can I tell y'all, like, I'm so happy um, today. I don't know why. I just feel a lot of um, beautiful energy. Number five is by far one of my favorite numbers because it signifies change, and change is the one constant thing that we're promised, right? That's the one constant thing that you're promised in this realm, change, okay? So... Before we jump into your daily vibration today, I do want to remind you guys that my podcast is available for you guys to stream. Also, that I do go live on Fridays at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on YouTube, okay? So you guys can be mindful about that. There is also the holiday specials on coaching sessions slash intuitive readings. You can get a half an hour coaching session slash intuitive reading with me for a donation of $50. You guys can find the information in the description box below. All right, so we're thanking our angels, we're thanking our guys, we're thanking our ancestors, we're thanking our higher self, we're thanking the divine masculine and feminine energy, we are thanking all the energy in the atmosphere that is here to help God protect, encourage, motivate, and give us the strength and the action, or the courage to take action when it's time, okay? So, once again, my love, today we are vibrating on the number five, and I do say this all the time when I do these daily vibrationals, I start off by saying intuition. Intuition is available to you all day, every day, okay? It is your choice whether or not you want to tap into your intuitive nature, but just know that it is always available to you, okay? So today we have intuitive energy in the atmosphere, your choice if you're going to interact with it or not. We also have change in the atmosphere. I love the number five because it signifies change, and like I said, change is the one constant thing that is promised to us, right? So today... You will feel like there's a variety of things either that you have to take care of or a variety of things that's being offered to you, okay? Now, remind, remember not to get too attached to anything today because uh, manifestation is all about non-attachment, right? So it's like you accept that it's yours and then you kind of like forget about it. I know that's kind of like how do you ask for something? How do you... Uh, try to manifest something, but then I tell you to forget about it. But then I also tell you to give energy towards it. Like, how, how does all of that work, right? And so it's simple. It's just like waking up every day and you know that regardless of the sun, regardless if there's clouds or not in the sky, you know that the sun is behind the, the, uh, the clouds. So you can be, um, and you see this all the time when you're traveling in the plane, there's all these low clouds, but up above in the plane, there's a beautiful sun, you know. Um, so you know at any given time that you can't get really attached to the weather because that can change at any time. You can walk out and it's sunny and then five minutes later it's rainy. Okay, so try not to get attached to anything today. Um, not even the things that you're trying to manifest because part of you being able to manifest is to understand that the things that you are trying to manifest has already been manifested. They're just you know, um, what's, there's a process for you to be able to see them in this third dimensional realm. They still have to go through that birthing process like everything else, okay? You may also find that you need to be resourceful today, my loves, okay? You may have to also surrender to the divine, okay, um, and release negative shit. So surrender and embrace the things that you can control or can't control and release all negative things, all negative limitation, all negative sounding boards, all negative conversations, okay? Know that today is a day of healing, and for some of you, you may want to focus on your health today. Okay, some of you may be making more healthier changes and choices today. I actually got this uh, organic cold-pressed apples, uh, mango, banana, lemon, kale, spinach, um, uh, and barley grass. I did not see the barley grass. I am not a friend of barley. But um, I like all of the other stuff in there, right? Okay, so uh, just be mindful that your health 
may be important for some of you today. Uh, life choices and decisions may be coming into play for some of you today. You know, the holidays is right around the corner. Some people, they, do you know, like, this is just one of the most stressful times for some people? Because some people, you have to be around people that you don't like or they don't like you. Or, you know, you got to be around in-laws that you really don't give two shits about. And they don't give two shits about you. Or you got to be around fake people. That you, you know, There's just a whole host of things. So you can see people's... Um, Drinking increase, people's eating increase. This is a very stressful time for some people. So this is why you want to be mindful today as you're vibrating to pay attention to the lower vibrational end of the number five, which is fear of change, which is um, being irresponsible, um, which is also being non-committal, which is different from being non from being um, non-attached. That's different. Okay. Um, there's a lot of discord energy, a lot of argumentative energy, a lot of um, indifference energy in the atmosphere today. So you want to pay attention to that. People can also be rigid in their thought in their in thoughts and actions. So be mindful of that. This is why you, you can't take nothing personal today, honey. It's the holidays. I'm writing that down. This is gonna be the name of this video today. Don't take don't take it personal. Okay, don't take it personal today. All right. Um, and also just be mindful that you can um you can see uh inconsistent energy in the atmosphere. Okay, so be mindful of who you're asking to do things for you. Okay, because if you're asking someone to do something for you that you know is not reliable, you can't get mad at them. You get mad at yourself because they just being who they are, right? Okay. With that being said, my lovelies, we're going to jump into the forecast for all of our wonderful signs today. <clears throat> we're thanking our angels. We're thanking our guides. Once again, we're thanking our ancestors. We're thanking our higher selves. Once again, we're thanking all of the wonderful Energy in the atmosphere that is here to help God protect, encourage, motivate, and give us the strength <clears throat> to take action when it is time. Can I say we're going to start off with the fire signs? We're starting off with fire signs because it is um, Sagittarius season. So we're going to start off with the fire signs. What do you have from a wonderful fire signs today? What is the message from a wonderful, wonderful fire signs today? Give us the message for fire signs today. Okay. Um, you have the eclipse in Gemini, which is all about negotiation. Okay. So this is just about you being able to rise to whatever challenge comes forth for you today. This is why I'm saying don't take shit personal and be open to the change that's coming in. You also have the eclipse in cancer and that eclipse in cancer energy is all about acceptance. Okay. Um, and this could be on the home front because remember I said it's the holiday season. You're going to have to interact with people you don't really give two shits about sometimes. Or you're going to have to interact or you'll be interacting with people that you truly love. But there's a lot of political shit going on in the climate that you may not want to have political conversations with people on this holiday trip. All right, you might have to keep just accept people are who they are and keep it moving okay so with this eclipse and cancer my wonderful fire signs this is going to be some type of emotional um, or domestic development happening because you're going to be accepting shit or at least accepting people for who they are accepting yourself for who you are right you got the moon in Aquarius that's asking you to release your wild child, okay, or, or just at least telling your wild child is awakening. This is all about being able to be a free spirit and to be truly who you are. And can I tell y'all something? When you really truly know who you are, you're stepping into that and you're walking in your divine sovereignty and you're doing all of the things that you need to do, right? What then happens is that can cause other people to either be jealous of you, to either be intimidated of you, or just not to like you, okay? This is why it's important for you to accept, okay? Um, for you also to um, negotiate, not just with other people, but with yourself, okay? So, example, if you get invited, invited to go... Um, uh, spent the whole holiday weekend with some family members and your ass know that really all you could take is a couple of hours why are you going to spend the whole weekend and not just showing up for dinner why are you going to sit there for hours knowing that you're not supposed to sit in that energy okay or the flip side if you know you're supposed to take your ass and go spend the weekend but you and your family's about some shit like, come on now, okay, all I'm saying fire signs is y'all going to have to check yourselves and be flexible to the change that's coming in you have to be flexible to the change that's coming in, okay? 
All right, so we're going to start off with Sagittarius. What do you want Sagittarius to know about negotiations, acceptance, and free spirit? What is Sagittarius to know? What do you want Sagittarius to know? Okay, Sagittarius, this is a win-win forecast for you, okay? So once you are able to really step in and see not to take things personally, to be flexible, it's a win-win for you because you're perceptive, right? All right, what do you got for my wonderful Aries? What you got for Aries? <clears throat> Aries, just no prosperity lies ahead once again. That's that acceptance shit, right? Okay, my wonderful Leos, the energy is gaining momentum. And what they want you to know about the energy is gaining momentum. It can be positive energy or it could be negative energy. It's really what energy are you giving more attention to or more feeling to? Are you giving more feeling to feeling sad, feeling disappointed, feeling angry? Are you giving more um, energy to, towards feeling grateful, feeling thankful, feeling loved, feeling generous? Which Where, where are you directing your energy? Okay, that's going to be important for you guys, all right? So remember my wonderful fire signs. You're going to have to rise to whatever challenge is approaching you today. Okay, accept that you can't change everybody and people are who they are, including yourself. And um, allow yourself to, to wake up. Allow your inner child to wake up, okay? And maybe laugh at yourself a little bit more today and be a little bit more flexible. Change is key today. <clears throat> All right, what you got for my wonderful water signs? What you got for water signs? Anybody making any greens for the holidays? I actually got my um my smoked turkey neck bones uh, boiling. That's why y'all hear a lot of echo because I'm actually recording in the uh, dining room. The kids want hamburgers. Uh, I got one request for hamburgers. Then I got another request just for baked mac and cheese. So it's just three of us this year. So I'm going to be making hamburgers, baked mac and cheese, some baked mac and cheese, some chicken cutlets. I was going to do some asparagus, but now that I got the greens on, it's probably just going to be greens. All right, what you got for my wonderful water signs? I don't tell y'all my whole Thanksgiving meal. I'm not so traditional, you know, unless I'm going to families. When it's just me and the kids, I'm not so traditional. My traditional Thanksgiving meal changed years ago when I got separated from my husband. Like, years ago when I got separated from my husband, my traditional Thanksgiving is I can make some shrimp fried rice and call it a day. That's Thanksgiving dinner, you know. Christmas, I do go visit my mom, so it's, you know, the whole works. But Thanksgiving... Thankful every day. Okay, so my wonderful water sign. You got the Pisces, the moon in Pisces. And glasses on. You got the moon in Pisces, right? You got the eclipse in Pisces. Ooh, that's a lot of water energy popping up here. Okay. Uh, and then you got the eclipse in Cancer. Oh, shit. Okay, water signs. That's a lot of emotional energy going on in the atmosphere today. So you guys are going to have to pay attention to that, okay? So my wonderful water signs, you guys have the moon in Pisces today. And that's the wander, um, to wander. That's all about you being able to follow your dreams, okay? Important, okay? And, and know that your dreams is not everybody else's dreams. That's why you will have to not take shit personal today. Because it's the holidays. People is always going to want to put you on a um, measurement scale. Okay? Be mindful about that. You also got this eclipse in Pisces energy popping up too, right? And with that eclipse energy in Pisces, this is about being able to serve your higher purpose. So, let me tell y'all something, water signs. Y'all going to have to get out your feelings so you can get into your feelings. Pisces, be careful because you guys are energetic sponge and it's the fucking holidays, okay? Now, um, Cancers, hmm. Yeah, okay. We got the eclipse and cancer energy popping up here too. And this energy is all about acceptance. We just talked about that with the fire signs, right? Fire signs had acceptance too. You're going to have to get to an emotional place where um, um, it's kind of like um, an emotional phase of your life. You're going to have to get to a place emotionally where you're more mature um, or maybe even within your home and domestic situations where you're going to have to accept shit, okay? So emotionally, you're going to have to accept some shit or maybe within the household situation, you're going to have to accept some shit. All right, so let's take a look and see. Overall, what you want the wonderful water signs to know. What do you have for <coughs> Scorpios? What do you have for Scorpios? What do you want Scorpios to know? What do you want Scorpios to know? 
All right, Scorpio, energy is gaining momentum. Once again, this is all about where are you directing your energy to? Lower vibrational shit, I can't do this, I can't do this, or higher vibrational shit. I'm so thankful that this is now unfolding. I'm so thankful that uh, this is now manifesting. Where are you putting that? Gratitude or woe is me, okay? Because wherever you're directing that energy to is gaining momentum, okay? Cancers, you guys have a new romantic cycle begins, okay? Follow your dreams, especially when it comes to love. What does love feel like to you? How does that resonate and vibrate with you? Are you accepting um, or settling? That's a big difference. Okay. All right, my wonderful, wonderful Pisces. Communication is going to be key, okay? Just know that. Um, so as you move through your day and you um, explore your dreams and you allow yourself to follow your spirit and your intuitive nature and you accept the things that you, you know, can't control and the things you can and you move forward, know that communication is going to be key, Pisces. Also, you need to be mindful that you could be energetic sponge. <clears throat> so make sure that you pull back, take the time to think, reevaluate. And then you take action. Okay? That's from the Pisces. All right. Let's move on to the wonderful ear signs. What do you got for the ear signs? What do you have for the wonderful, wonderful ear signs? All right. Ear signs. You've got the moon and Libra, which is love. You got the eclipse and Pisces, which is all about free will and the free spirit. Okay. That's your higher self talking to you. That's also emotional energy. And the moon energy is emotional energy too. And Libra is like Venus at, uh, energy, which is all about love. All right. Then you got the sun in Gemini, which is all about communication. Oh, somebody's about to have to communicate their love and their higher purpose. I don't know. Okay. All right, your signs. You're being asked today to bring love into your situations as well as your relationships, okay? And anything that you're really interacting with today, you're going to have to incorporate love. Which means you're going to have to balance your emotions and your feelings. And I know this can be hard for some of my water signs because you much rather... <coughs> I'm sorry, my ear signs, you much rather be in your head. But it's still asking you to serve your higher self. Be truthful to yourself. Listen to your spirit as you're doing this, right? And you're also going to have to communicate. You're going to have to communicate. People don't know what's going on unless you have conversations, okay? Although you may be all up in your head, people may not know what you're up in your head about. Okay? Especially my Aquarius. Just be mindful about that. Okay, Libras, this is not a time for you to bury your head in the sand. Get your head out the sand today. Okay, change is happening with or without you, Libras. So, what you gonna do? Okay, Gemini, make a clear decision. No bouncing back and forth today. Okay. All right, what you got for my wonderful ear signs? Let's start off with Gemini's. Let's start off with Gemini's. What you want Gemini's to know about their wisdom today? What you want Gemini's to know? <clears throat> All right, energy is gaining momentum. There's a lot of that today. It's the holiday season, so y'all pay attention, honey. Gemini, energy is gaining momentum. What did I just say? Make a clear decision before you want to. That bounce back and forth, Gemini. Mm -mm. Okay, Aquarius, work through your fears today. That's what they ask you to do. <clears throat> Libras, it's time for you to release, uh, release the negativity. Okay, that's that's what you need to do today. Everything that you're moving with today, my wonderful air signs, be mindful to incorporate love, follow your higher self and your spirit, and communicate what needs to be communicated. Okay? Get out your own head and communicate so other people can know what you're thinking. Okay? <clears throat> All right. Let's get it into my earth signs. Let's take a look at my earth signs. All right. What you got for my wonderful earth signs? What you got for my wonderful earth signs? What's your message for the earth signs today? You got, okay, Eclipse and Scorpio, which is all about regeneration, okay? This is standing firm, <clears throat> even though you feel like you're in the midst of the storm, and a lot, a lot of shit is just coming at you, okay? You got the Moon and Virgo, which is all about contentment, okay? Um, 
All right. Some of you may need to take up exercise and meditation or, or do something that brings you joy. Okay. What makes you feel content and happy instead of looking outside for that. Then you got the moon in Leo and it's talking about letting your inner self shine. Be your own hero today. Remember, change is the only constant thing that's promised to you. So today is not a day to take things personal. There's change all over. Flexibility happening. Okay, so whether or not you're going to be flexible, my wonderful earth signs, it's up to you. You do have Scorpio energy, which is water energy in the board. You got air energy, and you also have fire energy. Okay, so that water energy could put out the fire energy. Um, if it's, you know, the fire could burn some shit out. The air could make that smoke travel, okay, and the fire can put it all out. I'm sorry, the water can put it all out. So if you're standing firm in, the, in what you believe in today, when you feel like you're in the midst of the storm, right, what you can do to boost yourself or to feel content even though you're going through some shit, right, is to find something that you enjoy doing today, my wonderful earth signs, okay, and be your own hero today. And can I tell y'all something right now? I know my Capricorn is not going to have no problem with that. Okay, like y'all, what? That song by Beyonce, he got a big ego. A really big ego. That's my Capricorn, but y'all know I love y'all, right? So Capricorn's not going to have no problem doing this today. Be my own hero. Psh, got that down pat, check. Okay. All right. So Capricorns, your wisdom today is that you, my loves, are going to be approaching a new romantic cycle. And can I tell you that um, that is really good because I know Capricorns have been going through a really tough time. I got a couple of Capricorns in my life and I know they're going to be happy to hear this, right? Now, what I will say is that what I've been saying, whatever you give energy to or feelings to what is what manifests. So those of you out there that thinking men ain't no good, women ain't no good, you know, they all full of shit type shit. Like how are you expecting to post something positive and someone wonderful in your life? That's just not going to happen like that. Because when you do attract something like that in your life, you're not going to know what it is or how it looks or how it feels. So you're not going to be able to retain it. I'm just saying. Give me Virgo. What you want Virgo to know about their wisdom today? Okay, Virgo, let's let you know the end of a tough cycle approaches, okay? This is why you need to tap into either something exercising, yoga, meditation, painting, something that brings you back spiritual, something that brings you back to your center, and really something that makes you uh, more healthy. So if the painting is because it does help you emotionally, you can do that, okay? Exercising definitely is going to help because it helps to release um, stress, okay? All right, my wonderful Taurus, it says um, your work is paying off, so you need to be consistent and keep it up. And you also need to be mindful that you don't know everybody. You don't know how everybody's going to um, react, how everybody's going to move, what everybody's going to do. I know you spend time scoping people out, but this is why you can't take things personally because people do change. Their emotions change. Their feelings change. Their concerns change, okay? So you just need to be mindful as you're interacting with this energy to be aware of that, okay? All right, my love. So once again, today we're vibrating on the number five. The one constant thing with the number five is that there's always change in the atmosphere. Intuitive energy is always in the atmosphere. Whether or not you want to tap into that is definitely up to you, okay? Uh, be mindful that change... <clears throat> Variety, um, non-attachment energies in the atmosphere today as well as being resourceful. Um, surrendering and releasing is going to be key today. Healing and health is in the atmosphere today. Life choices and decisions is also in the atmosphere today. Excuse me. It is um, the holiday season, okay? So you're going to have to be flexible. And you also got to be mindful that you can't change people. Um, there is fear of change in the atmosphere today in the lower vibrational end of things as well as um, non-committal energy, irresponsible energy, inconsistent energy, very rigid in their thoughts and actions energy. And that could be you or the energy you're interacting with. So just be mindful. There is discord energy in the atmosphere. There's a lot of tension and conflict maybe within, once again, it's holiday season. Y'all know what happens when people get together and they start drinking. I'm just saying, y'all, okay? Truth. I actually love the holidays with my family because it uh, we have a lot of fun. My family just laugh, talk, um, joke. Um, we have a lot of lot a lot of fun. But I've also been to um, 
other places, you know, when I went, was in other relationships where their family situation ain't always, usually winds up with too much liquor and fighting, you know, okay. So that's, that was, you know, you got one half of the family that could be able to chill and, you know, other half, you know, once the liquor and shit get involved, totally, totally different atmosphere, environment. All right, my love. So tomorrow is Thanksgiving. I would love to know what you guys are going to cook, but you still going to get your daily on Thanksgiving while you're in that kitchen cooking so you can listen to the vibration of the day. Yes, yes, you will. Okay. So my love, I will see you guys on Friday live because I have figured out how we're going to get back into the live. I worked it out. So, we're doing live on Friday. I have to put the poll out. I don't know. I'm going to put the poll out maybe later today and see. If I get 25 people or more um, to like the video, I will go live on Friday, okay? Because um, it's the holiday. I don't know. Everybody might have something to do. But in the meantime, check out my podcast, okay? Check out how you can win a free reading, okay? It's all in the description box. Um, don't forget, um, holiday special. Um, 30 minute intuitive readings, um, love or career, love or career, my loves. Okay. For, um, $50. So I will see you guys in your next daily, as well as your individuals that will be going up this week. Okay guys. Bye. I love you guys. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.